Delicious. Uh, you know, Brian, um, I don't remember the cherry just being this big. Hello, David. How's the news? The freaking white witch! What the heck? Oh my god. Gators won the World Series! Go Gators! Now for the absolute highlight of the day, checking Narnia Web for the latest Narnia movie news! <gasps> oh, there's the news! Let's see what it is! Let's see... It's every Narnia fan's worst nightmare. Voyage of the non Treader cancelled. It's crazy that like six months ago everybody was like, Ah, Voyage of the non is gonna be the last Narnia movie. Ah! And that was everybody's concern then. And now, I mean, we might not even see Voyage of the Dawn Treader in theaters. But, since my last video about Disney leaving Narnia and all, I've watched some other videos and read a lot of stuff. And I have some more opinions on it, on perhaps why Disney left. And it actually gives us hope that if Lord of the Dawn Treader is made, that it will be a good film. If it is made. I watched Prince Rillian's video on uh, his opinions, and he seems to be under the impression that Lord of the Dawn Treader will not be made. And Glum Puddle really has the opposite perspective. He's pretty sure it's going to be made. Glumbo is a really good analyzer, so this gives me some encouragement. Though, he said in some of his videos that the Narnia books hold a really special place in his heart because they spurred a turning point in his life. But it wasn't until early 2001, when I read them all the way through for myself, that I immediately became hooked. I was immediately hooked. I read them twice that year. It, um, I, I hadn't really picked up on the Christian connections up to that point until I read them. And uh, it changed the way I view God in a way. It helped me understand the Bible. It, in a lot of ways, it was a turning point in my life. I mean, maybe he's convinced Lord of the Dawn Trail will be made simply because he will be heartbroken if it isn't. From the passion I've seen come from him toward the Narnia films, I'm sure he would be, as with most of us other Narnia fans. But still, he is a really good analyzer, so that gives us some encouragement. Me, I'm not a good analyzer. At least... Not of this pre-stuff. I'm more of a good analyzer of like the trailer when it comes out. I'll like go through it frame by frame and look at every last detail. And I'll be able to find lots of cool stuff that way. I'm not as good with like the pre-movie speculation about all these businesses and stuff. The Gumbo is more better on that because he's older than me and he knows more about how it all works. I mean, lately I'll be posting videos, and Gumpel will be watching them, and I'm like, Yes! My idol is watching my videos! And then he'll post, like, Oh, by the way, um, actually, New Line Cinema is the vision of Warner Brothers. I'm like, Dang it! Why didn't I know that? And so, yeah. So, here are my thoughts on why Disney left. And forgive me if I'm wrong, because I'm not really good in my story. One of them I've heard is that Disney didn't want the films to be as Christian as while well, the media wanted them. Perhaps because Boris Don Shredder has the most duh as long as Jesus moment in the entire series. Now, I can understand any film studio's hesitance to label the Narnia films as specifically Christian now. Because that would lose some of the market audience. While it would gain some, it would definitely lose some. I mean, uh, the polls say that like 80% of Americans are Christian, but like only like 40% actually go to church or somewhere. I know a lot of the Narnia fans had some problems with 
perceived removing of religious stuff like Aslan in Prince Caspian. So that could be encouraging. Another reason Disney might have left was simply because they wanted to release another film at the same time. And Disney's got a pretty good slate uh, already set out for 2010. They got Pirates of the Caribbean 4, Toy Story 3, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. I mean, it could have been just that Walt Media and Walt Disney Pictures couldn't agree on the release date. And, well, that's kind of annoying. I mean, like, oh, they're going to break up this franchise because they can't decide on a release date. I mean, that would be sort of dumb. But it could be possible. And the third possibility is that Disney is just simply a spoiled movie company. They are used to huge colossal successes, and as soon as their films stop being huge colossal successes, the franchises go... I mean, they're, they're, the reason they're going for Pirates of the Caribbean 4 is because all three of the first Pirates of the Caribbean movies made boatloads and boatloads and boatloads of money. It doesn't matter if Pirates of the Caribbean 4 sucks. It still will probably be a box office success because everybody will go see it. Because it's Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, unless they make it really bad, like Star Wars 7, it's gonna be at least a moderate box office success. While Voids of the Dawn Treader might not be a box office success. They're really worried because Prince Caspian was only okay so the way Voyager Dawn Treader might go bleh after Lion Witch the Mortal was high, and Prince Caspian is medium, then Voyager Dawn Treader might be bleh. On the other hand, Walden Media is not as big a company as Disney. Their only major blockbuster that they have had any relation to so far in their company history has been the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I mean, they're just coming off a box office flop, City of Ember, so they're really hurting right now. And they're probably remembering that the Narnia franchise was the only franchise they had that had a huge box office success. And I think they want to go back to the olden days of Lion of the Wardrobe when the Narnia franchise made huge amounts of profit. So they recognize that Narnia is just not something you throw out the gutter when you take a bad step. Which is very encouraging. On the other hand, it also means that other stu movie studios which are used to big box office successes are not likely to accept Voice of the Dawn Shutter. Unless they take into the fact that Prince Caspian had one, a bad release date, two, a bad marketing campaign, three, bad yada yada, and it still made $419 million worldwide, which is pretty darn good. So we could have some encouragement here that while the media is really dedicated to making these films, and that the reason Disney dropped out was for weird reasons like release dates or marketing stuff, or maybe they just didn't even like the plot. Because Voyage of the Dawn Tread is such a differently structured story than Prince Caspian and the and the Witch in the Wardrobe, they may have just said, eh, it's a bad story, Pleh. that's really unlikely, but maybe. There could be like 10 reasons why Disney left the franchise. But now it all comes down to who will pick up. And if anybody will pick up. So, I'm staying tuned to see what will happen next. Pick up!